Hello guys, and welcome back to yet again another bucket plugin tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to modify death drops. It's a pretty simple concept. The only two things here I have set up beforehand is a list of the items I want to have a chance to drop, and also a method for giving me a random number between two numbers that I have to specify. You can go ahead and copy this and get it down if you want to use it and then we can get right into it so the first thing we want to do here is create an event handler for us to detect whenever a player dies and the way we do this well you guys already know how to do this actually I've already did the tutorial on the event API we can go ahead and name this event on death and the event we want to use is entity death event and we can just name this event event so the first thing, the only thing we really have to check for actually is to make sure that the entity dying is a player. So if we want to do that, we have to get the entity just like that. And then we have to check if the entity is an instance of a player. And now we know we're all good to go. So the first thing that we want to do is actually clear the drops that are there because I don't want any of the normal player drops. Like I don't want them to drop anything that's in their inventory. I want all that stuff to just be trashed and gone. So what I'm going to do to do this is first I'm going to make a variable so we can get the player easily. Just have to cast the entity to a player. All right. Anyways, as I was saying, we want to get rid of the drop. So we, to do that, we can do events.getDrops.clear. And there we go. That's it. That's all you had to do to get rid of the drops. So now we want to add our new drops. It's not as simple as doing event.setDrops. There is no set drops. So how do you set new drops? Well, to do this, we have to drop an item in the actual world. So to do this, we need two things, a location and an item to drop. So we need to get the item first using this method that I have right down here named random range so we can do so I want to loop through this array list up here using this random range so I have three items in this list so that means my range is going to be between 0 and 2 because 0 is the first integer in an array list and um, 2 is the third one so that's our range or hold up, we want to make a, this is what we want to do. All right, we want to get it from our array list we made. And then our index is going to be random range, zero, two. And then we can go ahead and drop the item. So to do this, we need to get the player's world because um, this method called drop items naturally is part of the world class. So we need to use that. So the two things that go in here, as I said before, is a location and the item. And there we go. It was that simple, guys. So it was a short one. I'll go ahead and hop in the test server here. All right, guys. So if I fly up here on this little mountain and I type in slash kill, you, could, you saw it there, but I will go fly back and show you guys. We got ourselves a bedrock. One bedrock as I defined right here. And if I go ahead and die again, there's a diamond this time. If I die again, what do we drop? That time we dropped another bedrock. Let's see, can we get the dirt? There's the dirt. And we should have five of it. Yep, five dirt. If you guys found this episode helpful, let me know down in the comments. If you need any help, let me know down there as well too. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Nice. The mutt's nuts, in fact.